welcome back to another live podcast from STA News. Today, we are at the host in India for the 2025 Kabaddi World Cup final between India and Bangladesh. In Team Bangladesh, we have Hannah, Ohad, and Leo. Whilst in Team India, we have Aaron, Vera, and Arnav. In Kabaddi, there are two teams of 12, and there are seven players on a court. The court is 10 meters wide and 13 meters in length. The bonus line is worth another point only if you touch the opponent, touch the bonus line with any part of your body, and you get back to the midline. The lobby is an extra area and it is only active when the radar touches the opposing team. Here are some of the rules in Kabaddi. Number one, the radar must start saying Kabaddi repeatedly as he crosses the midline and cannot stop repeating this word until the, he crosses back over to his team. Number two, if one team gets two points in a row without the other team scoring, the team that got two points are allowed to add a person back into the game. Number three, if the Raider is pushed out of the end lines by the opposing team, the Raider is out. Number four, each member of a team must raid in sequence. If a team raids out of order, the opposing team gets one point. Number five, if your team is being raided, you and the other three players in are anti-raiders. Your goal is to keep the raider from tagging you and crossing back over to the midline. You can do this either by running away from him until he runs out of breath, or physically restraining him by tackling or grabbing him. Number six, a raider may not be grabbed or held by his clothes, hair, or any part of his body under than his limbs or torso. Number seven, after half time, the two teams switch sides of the court. Kabaddi is a contact team sport that originated in Indian subcontinent, in Tamil Nadu. It's the state game of Andhra, Tamil Nadu, Bihar, Punjab, etc. It's also the national sport of Bangladesh. Modern Kabaddi is a synthesis of the game played in various forms under different names. It received international exposure during the 1936 Berlin Olympics. The game was introduced in the Indian National Games at Kolkata in 1938. It was also introduced to and popularized in Japan in 1979 by Sundar Ram of India. They toured Japan on behalf of Asian Amateur Kabaddi Federation for two months to introduce the game. Matches between Bangladesh and India were held across India, starting in 1979. The first Asian Kabaddi Championship was held in 1980 and India was a champion. The game was included for the first time in the Asian Games in Beijing in 1990. In order for the Raiders to succeed, they will need to follow some number of factors, such as entry, cant, footwork, settling path of attack, tactics, and retreat. Let's get right into today's special interview with Indian National Kabaddi Captain Aaron. How did you begin playing Kabaddi? Uh, I began when I playing when I was in the fifth grade. My mother raised me and my brother alone. We used to stay in the slum and would get water from a common tap. On my way there, I would meet one of our neighbors whose niece played Kabaddi at the local sports club. She kept insisting that I try it out, so I did. I loved the game and there has been no looking back. Do you think of quitting Kabaddi? It's an addiction. In 2014, I had a knee injury that was so bad, I was bedridden for weeks and became an emotional wreck. Doctors advised me to quit. Everyone I knew advised me to quit. But I can't imagine life without Kabaddi. The pain is still there 24-7. But on the field, I forget about it. Okay, and last question. What are some life skills and values being a Kabaddi player has taught you? Being a Kabaddi player has taught me to overcome my fear as Kabaddi is very closely linked to yoga and the training has helped me access my inner strength to overcome all my frustrations and challenges of everyday life. It has also taught me that fighting with the right spirit is important as a good team leader should possess the ability to gauge advantages and disadvantages of a given situation. Also making quick decisions. A leader should not think about his growth but also about enhancing the team's performance. Okay, we have tallied up the scores and the winning team is Team India! Yay!
that's us up for our live podcast today. We hope you enjoyed watching the Kabaddi finals. See you next time.